The next thing you want to have is a good do. The do or the D in PDSA is the do. When you're just think about what you're doing at that point, the action of your plan. So the most important part of the PDSA is getting your plan together. And the next important thing is to carry that plan out. What will you do to execute that plan? The question that you answer when you're talking about the do is, how do I get there? How do I get to the part of reaching that goal? What are my steps? Now, with your do, you want to have, like I stated earlier, you want to have some I will statements. Now, the I will statements will, can, will consist of two different parties. It'll be what the teacher will do or the advisor or the organizer and what will different aspects of that group do. If you're a teacher in the classroom, it will be what would the teacher do and what would the students do. Okay. What you want to do is you should discuss what you as the teacher and what the students will do to get the students to get to the goal. What will the students execute? Will they, you know, complete certain assignments? Will they do different things? What are some strategies that you will implement as a teacher? What are some things that you're going to do? Or you're going to, uh, you know, go to the uh, to the World Wide Web and pull some things down? Are you going to implement a program? What are some things you're going to do in that process to get those students to progress to that goal? What are activities or strategies that the student, what will they do? You know, will they complete uh, a, an activity that is going to show proficiency in a certain skill? You know, there, there are a lot of things you can do in that, in the I will statements. And that's going to spell out what the process will be in order for the students to say, I can, you know, tell one different thing or one goal that they're going to achieve. So your I will statements are ultimately going to go or lead into your I can statements, which are your goals. Misconceptions of the I will statements. Now, this was one thing that has been tossed back and forth over the years. And even when I was getting a clear handle on the information about the I will statements, the I will statements, it is not what the students will be able to do when they reach their goal. For example, you're not going to say, I will be able to name you know, the capital of North Carolina. That is a misconception. That is the goal. The goal will be the I can statement. So it would, instead of saying what they will be able to do, it would actually be the goal saying what I can do. So the I will statement is the action of what you're going to carry out. An example of I will statements, I will use prior knowledge to make an inference. This again is some language arts. I will identify important details. I will prove my inferences, inferences with support from the text. Those are clear-cut I will statements. And those are some things that the students will do to, to get their goal, to accomplish their goal. The next thing that you will see will be 